Nicole Smith and Julian Schutze from Blood and Iron Martial Arts Vancouver. We're here today to talk to you about controlling your opponent's sword. One of the main reasons you would want to control your opponent's weapon is, well, they can't hit you with it. Sounds simple, but not really. There are many different ways to control your opponent's weapon. Such as physically, literally grabbing their arm, weapon, or trapping it with your own body. Or geometrically, using the geometry and leverage of your own sword. There are many more, but those are the two we're going to focus on for right now. Let's start with physically. This can be as simple as jamming their weapon arm with your own. Can't hit me from here. Another way to physically control the sword is to actually grab it once you've stopped it. Can't hurt me here. You're going to be noticing a common theme here. Now this one's pretty cool. I can trap her rapier using my body with this grapple that comes from Thibault. I start by entering the angle. She's no longer threatening me with the point. I enter. I grab the basket and I trap it. Maximum trappage with the gluteus maximus. Techniques that control their sword using both leverage and geometry are far more complex to pull off. However, they can be really useful if you're facing a larger, stronger opponent and you want to keep them at bay and keep yourself safe. One of the most basic and simple examples of a geometric control is the rapier lunge. I'm literally creating a wedge, displacing his sword, and stabbing him. The German master cuts with a long sword apply here as well as single-time counters, such as the wrath or thwart strike. Controlling your opponent's weapon is great and all, but it takes a great deal of knowledge and practice in order to do it effectively. Your foundations have to be rock solid. You also need to have the knowledge of what your opponent can do at all times. If they know a method of escape that you do not, the results could be catastrophic. But for now, we hope you've enjoyed learning a little more of what sword fighting actually looked like.